Hey you. Today you are on a FaceTime call with me and the time now, are you ready for this time? It's 4.05 in the morning. 4.05 in the morning. We're just basically gonna have some girl talk, do this wig install and just get into it. I have so much stuff I wanna talk about. I am tired. But I love you guys enough to get this video out for you. So let's get into it. Before I started talking to you and whatever, I tried to bleach the wig and forgot the wig is synthetic. So it wasn't gonna take bleach. So it was a waste of bleach, waste of time. It was just, uh. but get into the growth. Do you see the growth? Like, yeah. And growth is giving. Before we get into it, I'm gonna go ahead and tell you where this wig is from. But today, the wig that I am installing is a braided wig. I know like, it's so different. First of all, let me show you the scalp on this wig. Like, are you seeing the scalp? So, really, it didn't bleach it at all. I don't even know why I tried, but. I'm just used to those steps. So basically where this wig is from, it is a sample wig um, that you can purchase soon off of Lash and Hook. Um, pretty much every wig tutorial I might do is gonna be a wig sample that will be later on Lash and Hook site. Um, I get all my braiding hair from them. They have the best braiding hair. It is non toxic braiding hair because I'm allergic to beauty supplies um, braiding hair. So I really recommend it. As I'm talking to you, I am going to be trying to get some clips in for TikTok. So it's, it's a lot. It's giving doing this to the sun come up. Hopefully, I get some rest. But until then, we're going to try to get this done. First, I'm going to go ahead and start with the braid down process and whatnot. I was going to write down some topics and whatnot, but then I was just like, you know what? We're just gonna like freestyle because why not? Like, this is real conversation, real talk. So I'm just gonna freestyle the conversation and whatever we get into is what we get into. Okay? Okay. Fair enough. Fair. So I'm gonna be using this lock and I'm gonna call it lock and twist braid gel or whatever just to braid my hair down. So first off, I hope you guys have been doing well. I hope your summer has been going how you have planned it. For me, my summer has been really good actually, really chill. What I'm mostly like concerned about right now is my senior year. Honestly, just being real. And not even a bad concern. It's just more so like hoping it just goes as planned and how I have it planned out in my head. I can't wait to share the journey with you because honestly, like I feel like my channel is really gonna do is is one like I'm gonna be living a college life and everything. Oh my God, this is so off topic with y'all. Do y'all see the piercing? So y'all are gonna, it's gonna be a video that's up before the FaceTime call. But, um, so y'all will see the video ahead of time. If you haven't seen the video, then I really do encourage you to go watch the video. I'll put it up here somewhere, but yeah. New piercing. <laughs> I'm hoping the best, I'm hoping good for myself. If you're going into your senior year or any new journey of life, even if you're watching, you're going into high school or if you're going into the 11th grade, 10th grade, whatever, like I hope your plan goes as planned um, just as well as I hope mine goes too. But I don't know lately, I've been telling everybody this, like, I don't want to say this year it hasn't been nothing, like, nothing has happened because, like, I don't want nothing crazy to happen. But this year just has been really 
sit like really chill and settle. Like there hasn't been nothing wild or nothing that has happened yet in my life to say like, oh yeah, 2024, this happened. But we are finished with the year, so I can't even speak too soon. Cause you know, things happen fast in literally just months. Like, so, you know, I'm gonna be patient. But ever since this year started, I've been saying I feel like something good is gonna happen. Something is gonna happen in my life that's um, gonna change, like a shift in my life. Although like, I have experienced a big shift in my life already and that shift had probably had to be um, moving houses, which was a big take for me. I didn't take it lightly at all. Like, I hated it. <laughs> but now I found good benefits in it. I've looked at the good. I hate that it took me so long to look at the good versus finding all the bad. But it was just a very, like, uncomfortable. So the braid down is all done. Here we are. I just tuck the braid in the back. That's usually what I do all the time, even when I'm doing my client's hair too. But yes, so now I'm about to show TikTok and then we're gonna get back into the install. If you're wondering, the time is 4.35. I think I'll get done at least by late five. All right, so now this is my favorite part and it is putting on the cap. So, I usually buy the HD wig cap that looks like this. The glitter's in the wig. But it usually looks like this. This is the one I get. And it has two caps in there. So, if you mess up one, there is another one. Yeah, so I just keep going. It looks like this is like brown over there. So, we're gonna go ahead and put this on. Looks kind of put the edges back just a little bit more. I did brush them back, but for some reason, my edges are really cool, like loose, like, I don't know, they just curl up really fast. But I do my own wig installs, they be in the way, child. So we're just gonna brush the back, like so. And then we should be ready to go, the install. So y'all see, I brush the back. Just like that. Y'all, let me tell y'all, like, I've been watching YouTubers that I find very interesting and whatever. And I just wanna know how do they do it? Like, I love my support system that I have for my YouTube channel. It's small, but at least I know that I'm having somebody watching me. Like, there's people watching watching me. Like, I don't think, like, I've ever cared about having a big audience. Like, having a big audience would be, you know, beneficial, of course, because YouTube, you have to at least have 1K, and I'm gonna keep it real. <laughs> you have to have at least 1K subscribers to get any type of payment, anything, recognition from YouTube. And um, 
I do have a small community watching, but I love my small community. I love you, and I appreciate you for watching me. Um, Cause yes, like at least if there's someone watching, like small crowds go a big way. That's why I just always remind myself like there is somebody watching. Like you're not just talking to yourself. There's people watching, there's people commenting. At the end of the day, I do enjoy doing the videos. Um, when I first started off doing YouTube, oh y'all, we're gonna use Fit Me Powder Foundation. Looks like this, I have this color. And then I have like a lighter shade, but we're more so gonna go for the darker one. Okay, so I got my brush. It looks like this. So I'm gonna start off by just putting this foundation all over, and then we're gonna get into the lane, lane get down. But back to what I was saying, um, it like when I first started out making my videos, getting paid was never on my mind. Like, I do my videos for two reasons. One of them, I would say my most important one is because I want to look back at all of these when I'm older. That kind of was my mindset for doing YouTube when I first ever started. I didn't even know you can get paid from this. So when I found out you can get paid from YouTube, I just sit still with like, okay, well, that means that, you know, I have to be my grind. Cause I do videos well, I edit very well, I'm a very good editor, so, you know, it should be no biggie. But now it's just like, how do I put myself out there? Like, really promoting is like my worst friend. <laughs> I'm very shy when it comes to like my main page. I love my dump page. I can post anything on my dump page, but when, when it comes to the main, it's like, like, I don't know. It's just, it's more followers, I guess. So it's like, mm, I'm gonna have to put my big girl panties and be like, okay, this is what you wanna do. You're gonna have to post and post on your main page, an actual post, you know, and all of that stuff. But I'm getting, I'm getting there, y'all. I'm getting there. Um, you know, like we're gonna go up for sure. I'm just I'm just happy that I didn't stop doing it. There's a lot of people who start a YouTube because they see other people doing it and that's fine. Like it's like have some motivation, like, okay, I like her channel, it's making me wanna do it like be inspired, period. But I don't like when people try to start it and leave people hanging like they're not serious about it y'all these are actual people real jobs like people are actually paying bills off of this you know what i'm saying like don't do youtube because it's a trend do it because you love it honestly okay this is how we're looking this is the brown that's going on it um yes this will bleed through your hair <laughs> i'm gonna warn you now but yeah, so I think we're good on that. I'll make little touches here and there like I always do if I need it. But now we're gonna go ahead and start spraying and blow drying. I brought this new spray that I seen my hairstylist use that lady um my wig before. I'm gonna be using this Wonder Lace Bund Lace Nut Spray. And it looks like this. So I'm just gonna spray. Uh -oh. Let me spray the toilet first. Okay, there we go. I had to get the spray about the spray so far that it's very like rainy. I don't know if I like it. I don't even know if it's like staying down. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. But we're gonna start applying the glue dots for the hairline. All right, so I'm gonna be using Bold Hold. 
for the first time. I hear about this product a lot, y'all. It was expensive for this little bitty bottle. This little bitty bottle made with the price just, just, yeah. It was like 16 dollars $17 for this small bottle. Exactly. But I'm gonna be using it for the first time, so I hope it does exactly what the girls say it gives. So for this part, I'm just gonna outline my hairline uh, with a few dots and then blow dry it and then cut the excess. Okay, so we're back. I'm about to put the wig on. Here's the wig. I probably gonna put a little bit of um, makeup inside the wig just in case to be on the same side because it didn't do no bleaching so we're gonna just make up in the big y'all everybody's been asking where have i been and when i say everybody i mean like as far as like people on instagram stuff like that and y'all my answer is i'm just in a relationship right now Aww. and just be so caught up like if I'm being honest y'all I just have so much so much respect for my boyfriend like my relationship is going really good and I'm really proud I really appreciate him like he's really respectful like he spoils the queen <laughs> he spoils the queen like we have a great time because Bebe, don't other. I always tell people relationships are gonna find you. Like you should not have to go fishing out for a relationship. It's gonna find you. Be patient. I feel like people who rush trying to be in a relationship, that's where it goes wrong. Cause it's like it's not something you are. It's like you're so like eager to be in a relationship that it just it just don't work out for real. I really need to, I just thought about like, I really need to get back on my Depop really bad. The sales has not been selling. Okay, so y'all can see the difference in the color. Let's put it on and see what it's still looking like. This is a 360 wig, so it is lace in the back as well as the front. What do you think? Like, y'all can't tell me it's not giving fresh out the scalp. Like, what? What? The only thing I say I don't like is like this little fresh line part, but this is super tea like. Super tea. So let's go ahead and install it for real. So add some glue here and we're gonna put this back way. Mm. Yeah. This glue, I guess it's alright. I think I need to get that in my bag with installing wig because I slip had forgot <laughs> some steps I did do backwards. It's okay. I'm gonna look close to the mirror, so you're probably not gonna see this part. Alright, so it is glued on. And I just wanna make sure it's good in the back too. But it's super comfortable. Like, the wig is really comfortable. It just feels like it's not going nowhere. And. And y'all, uh, it goes down to my butt too. It touched my butt. I'm gonna show y'all the length and the ripping into it. So now I'm gonna cut this extra accent off. It does have edges and all that. So we're gonna cut the extra lace off and really just style her up. Cause baby, it's giving, uh, we need to go on the beach. Like, now, tomorrow, tonight, today, today. We need to go today. Like, let's go down just a little bit because 
I need the middle part in the middle. Is it middle part in or is it? It's a little cricket. The middle part just looks a little cricket, just a little bit, but it's okay. We're going to cut this lace into three parts and then start removing this excess, this extra excess. So we're gonna go boom, and then we're gonna do the other side. Just like that. So we're gonna start removing. I don't know why it sounds so country, but we're gonna start removing the lace. Hey, I'm back. So last night I decided to go ahead and go to sleep. I figured you had got the whole install thing going on and I was just gonna do the edges with you. So now we're here to do the final touches at the makeup to like the lighting area so it can blend and all that good stuff. But let me tell you, why when I was cutting out the ear, I cut off a braid because I'm thinking I had to cut it out and didn't even know I was cutting off a sideburn. So it's like really a little baldy up here, but it's okay. I was thinking about trying to attach this back on, just the edge part, but it's whatever. So we're gonna get into it. I'm gonna just go ahead and brush these edges or comb the edges out because due to the spray and like having my bonnet on last night and all that, they did like, you know, go flat. Before I um, do the edges though, I'm going to lay the lace down just a little bit more and add some makeup so it can blend. But so far it looks really cute, it looks really good. I'm sticking with this spray because the other spray, it's just, I, I can't get with it yet. It's gonna take some practice. I'm gonna use it in another um, video probably, but right now we're just gonna use this. So I'm gonna scoot these edges back actually. Start brushing them down, I'm gonna scoot them back, and I'm gonna spray the lace and blow dry. Sometimes, y'all, honestly, you don't have to directly spray the wig. I say sometimes spray it on your finger because the spray can be a little bit much sometimes. So I'm just gonna spray on my finger, and we're gonna start with sections. So we're gonna go on this side first, and we're gonna work our way around. So this is how it's looking. This is the first little section. It looks really good so far. And then I'm just gonna keep doing that all the way around. It's a new day. I'm not really sure what we're gonna do today, but we're gonna try to get out the house. The BT Awards comes on today. So I'm happy about that. Hopefully it gives what it needs to give. I was gonna say hopefully it gives 20, 2016 era, but we know we ain't got that since, so I'm not even for this ever. I really hope the next time I make a video is me getting my license. <laughs> and it's not even that I've been procrastinating to get it, it's just like, I'm really just kind of scared. Like, a lot of people say the test is easy if you know what you're doing, but still, you never, you never know. You never know. If you took your driving test, let me know in the comments because I don't really want to know. Like, how was the experience? Even though I have friends that took it, like, I just like to know from a lot of people different perspectives. What should I do? What should I not do? And the lace is really good. Like, the lace is thin. Because it's nothing like a good lace. For my 17 years of living, since my 17 years of living, I've never gotten a wax or anything. I usually just like shave on my own. And also I don't grow hair um, on my arms or legs or nothing like that. So, but of course I do grow hair, you know, elsewhere. And I'm just trying to see like, do you have any good wax place suggestions? If you do, let me know. Like, of course I have a mom who I can ask or whatever, but still, I wanna know some other good places because she might not even have, you know, the other places, but I really wanna get my first wax. Like, 
I really do. I went to this summer, but like, I haven't been on a trip that gave wax, if that makes sense. Like, I wanna wait till I go to like Miami or something. <laughs> Like, I don't know, like, does that make sense? So I wanna know what's, what's y'all good places, who's y'all good people? And I've been seeing like a lot of YouTubers go to the wet people. So, I don't know. All right, so I'm done with laying the lace down. Looks really good. Now we're gonna go ahead and start applying the foundation and whatever. I believe that's what it's called. Okay, I'm back with the light brushes. So we're gonna go ahead and start blending this bad boy. And then we can get into the creativity of laying it. Um, this wig is a 1B. Um, my hair color is a two. Um, it would be really good if this wig does come out in different colors because darker colors don't really look good on me. But Oh my god, y'all. Why did I just get makeup all on my shirt? Oh no. Maybe it wasn't smart to do this with a white shirt on. At least I have two of these shirts, but still. Okay, so start dabbing the makeup on. And I just lightly just take it and just do like this on any areas I feel like it needs to be kind of fixed up. Also, it's good to put some on your forehead too, like just a little bit, just to get that groom. So it doesn't look like the makeup is just on my spot. That makes sense. Okay, so I'm gonna tell y'all something I've been thinking about. I really wanna start a podcast, um, but I've just been really procrastinating because I don't know what exactly I wanna talk to be about. I feel like the first video can be just be freely talking about anything I desire, and then maybe we can start getting into, into some topics, but let me know what y'all think. Like, I wanna do some of my friends, I wanna try to meet some of my friends, or whatever I feel like it would be really fun like yeah I just wanna you know do something different enter a new space on my channel as well here is the blending I'm gonna let it focus this is the blending it looks pretty good I'm probably gonna wipe off like where you can see the spray that's an easy fix I usually no shade I usually just take like a little bit and get it off but if you want to use water you can just be very careful so now we're gonna go ahead and start laying the edges I'm going to use this hard edge brush that I have like the bristles literally don't move like it's it's been sprayed a couple times I'm gonna start with my side brush because that's what I usually do on my hair anyway when I have braids or have my natural edges my real edges out so i'm gonna do it the same exact way because that's what i know works best for me it takes a lot of focus and patience to do edges the luxury of life now i know when each other for real hold up I think I cut off the sideburns on both sides, honestly. Believe it or not. Yeah. I'm trying that in nature. No disrespecting, baby. Just trying to smile. Try to keep my spirits up. That's why I lose it down. Try to All right, and we are finished. This is the finished product. Um, I think I like this side, maybe. Maybe. It looks really good though. Like, I think I did pretty good. I don't even think I did good. I'm not gonna play with myself like that. I did good. Like, this is one of my favorite styles to wear in braids. We can go half up, half down. 
I didn't make it too tight because I am going to take this off um, this week sometime. Or no, next week. So, yes. It's just super cute. Maybe they better close up. The back is just like this. Like I said, it is a 360 wig, so if you wanted to, you could lay down the back, but I'm not gonna do all that. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna do all of that. Let me show you the length. This is the length. It does, wait, let me put it down a little bit more. So yeah, it does go down to like, you know, my butt just a little bit. And yeah. Do y'all like? Are y'all gonna buy? Do y'all think she should drop this wig? Flash and hook. Do you think she should drop this wig? I personally say yes. This is a quick, easy, if I'm going on vacation, if I need a quick hairstyle, I don't feel like sitting in a chair. Like, this is, this is the one. Like, this is super cute. I hope you enjoyed this FaceTime call. I can't wait to call you later in another video next time. Um, I definitely want to do another one of these because I really like it like just chatting and doing my hair rambling and whatever stay blessed stay hot favorite and I'll see you in the next video bye